we're going to look at how to personalize Siri. So you can do things like say, hey Siri, give me directions home. Giving directions to home. And it will automatically pull up your directions no matter where you are. You can do the same thing to work or you can do things like say, hey Siri, call my husband or call my daughter, um, whatever it might be. So you can personalize it series to automate tasks. So here's how. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a contact for yourself. So you're going to start off by going to the contacts app. Now I actually don't use the contact contacts app. I go to phone and then I tap contacts and so that's how I get there but you can get there however you want. And then tap the plus sign to create a new contact and go ahead and start filling in your information. I'm going to create a new contact for me. I'm going to name it um, Joe Smith just because I already have a contact in there and then uh, but go ahead and put in your information and fill in as much detail as you can but one of the things you want to do is scroll down and you want to add in your address so tap add address fill in all your home information and then I'm scroll down a little bit more you can add a second address and this can be a work address so you can go ahead and fill that in as well and then you can add in a third address. Maybe you have a vacation home or some location that you drive to frequently, a remote office, whatever it is. You could add that address in as well. And so this is what Siri is going to use to um, use for routing and mapping your, your various addresses that you have listed. So fill that in, and then we're going to do the next step. You should have all of your information filled in, and the more information you fill in, the better. The more you can use Siri to activate it. So um, the next thing that you're going to do is press the home button to get you back to your home screen. And then you're going to go to settings, and then down to general, so tap general. And then go to Siri, so tap Siri. And then the very last option is my info. And go ahead and tap that. And then it's going to give you your contact list and then find your contact. So in my case, it's Joe uh, Smith. And um, I just did that because I already have a contact. So go ahead and select your contact information. And then um, you can back out of that once you do that. Oh, one other thing I wanted to point out is notice that I have this option on where it says allow Hey Siri. And it tells you right here you can speak to Siri without pressing the home button by saying hey Siri but you do have to be connected to power in order for that to work so if you're not plugged in then you have to hold down the home button to activate Siri but if you're connected to power um, you can just uh, activate Siri by saying hey Siri so um, let me back out of that now that you have your contact set up with your information you can activate Siri and say things like Give me directions to home. Getting directions to home. It'll automatically launch the Maps app and give you those directions. Now, if you set up a work address as well, you can say, give me directions to work or call home or really anything that you set up in your contact. The other thing that you can do is, let's say you have your... Um, uh, your phone plugged in so you're, you're connected to power. You can activate Siri by saying, Hey Siri, give me directions to home, and it'll automatically launch it without you ever even having to touch your phone or directions to work or whatever it is um, that you have set up in your contacts. So you can activate all of that. The next thing that we're going to do is how do you, how does Siri know who is your spouse or your child? And you can say, you know, call my daughter, call my spouse, call my husband. So we're going to look at that next. In order to have Siri call your mother or call your father or call your spouse, your husband, your wife, your child, and to make Siri personalize it to, for Siri to know that information, what you can do is um, create, first of all, create a contact for that person, much like we did for yourself. So you can go to your contacts app. I'm going to go to phone and then contacts and then I already have a contact for Doris Smith for my mother. Now I labeled it as mother here under company. You don't have to do that. I just did that so you can see that um, on the screen. And put in her phone number and then put in whatever information that you want. The more information you have, the more you can personalize Siri. But at a minimum, put in the phone number. And you don't have to have that label there as mother. I just did that 
so you would know that that's what I've got it designated as. So then after you do that, there's actually two ways that you can have Siri relate that person to you as your mother or your spouse. And one way to do it is to go to your card. Okay, now remember I'm using Joe Smith as my example because I already have my personal card created. And then go to edit. So you're on your personal identifier. Scroll down and after the addresses that you put in there, there's an option down here for add related name. Now, I'm going to go in here and add Doris as my related name. Okay, it says mother's the default, and if you tap mother, you're going to see that there's a bunch of other options. So you can specify father, parent, brother, sister, child, and you can do any of these. And hit cancel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as mother, and then tap over here, and it will look for the contact, and you put it in. And I'm going to put in Doris Smith. And then when I say done, then I can use Siri and say, call my mother. Calling Doris Smith. And it'll automatically call um, my mother. So really neat. And it can be your child. It could be, um, be anything. Now, there is another way to have Siri associate a related name. So let's say you create a contact. You do have to have a contact form. But you could create, let's say your daughter's name is um, Jill Smith. And I don't have a contact in here for Jill Smith, but let's say that I do. I could say, Siri, call my daughter. In fact, I'll do that. S call my daughter. What is your child's name? Okay. And then if I said, I'm going to go ahead and stop this, but if I said what my child's name was, then it would look for it in my contacts list, and I could select it and... It would, from then on, know that that's my daughter. So you can set up those relationships using Siri as well. If you want it to be clean and easy and for Siri not to make a mistake, then do it the way that I showed you in your contacts. Create a card for whoever you want Siri to call and then make them a related contact on your contact card. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, post it. Hope you learned something. And um, feel free to post any questions in the comments below and I'll get back to those. If you have other questions or other topics you'd like covered or would like to, um, like me to, to record, uh, feel free to submit those in comments as well. Or you can also send them to iPadWisdom at gmail.com. That's iPadWisdom at gmail.com. So feel free to submit those or post in the comments. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you learned something, uh, if you would like it, I would appreciate it and, um, and subscribe for more tips. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.